doing this. I get readjusted. <coughs> okay. Hello everybody, my name is Moomeister and welcome back to Dark Eh? Where we last left off we managed to complete the full game and now we're here to do the two DLCs, the Tawa and the Crypt. Now I'm not sure if these two take place after the events of the game where we managed to help our the main character Lloyd actually like wake up, at least I'm assuming that's what the ending meant, or if there's like completely different characters and this just takes place somewhere else in the universe of this game, but I don't know. So let's go ahead and find out. So we're gonna just go ahead and do the tower first. All right, we got our boy Lloyd here. Um, we got a button. Ooh, we're in like inside of something that might be living. Okay, we can go ahead and start uh, wall walking. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> oh, there's a head. A lot better than feet and legs like last time. <laughs> um, maybe we can keep going this way. Or not? Um, I guess the only option is to do this. Aha. Okay, so it seems like we're doing a mixture between like quote unquote reality and like some sort of monster themed area. I guess. <laughs> uh, but we managed to push that. So then we can go this way. And we got another lever. That doesn't seem to do anything. What does this one do? Nothing either. Can we put the severed head? Nope. <laughs> Why not? Uh, this looks like a severed head place. Yep. Ooh, do we need five of them? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But that also seems like one of the uh, characters that we had to hide from last time, so that's interesting. Okay, can we go down here? No? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Just gotta remember, if there's a wall, try to run up it. Okay, what do we need the belt for? Maybe this? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Can we pull something down? Oh, it's an elevator! Okay, floor two. Okay, so since there's different floors, I'm going to assume that we're literally in a tower right now. This seems like the only logical conclusion. <laughs> okay, so we're back in whatever this is. Wait, there was a wall. I gotta abide by my rules. Okay, uh, can we go any this way? Nope. So we gotta do this. What does that accomplish? Oh, okay. So it looks like we need some sort of screw, maybe? Um, okay, we can do that. So then, what if we push this again? Okay, doesn't seem like anything. Is there any point to being in here? This way? No. Okay. Um, doesn't seem like we have the stuff for this. Let's go to the next floor. Floor three. Okay, we can open that, but. Ooh. Okay, we can plug it in. I think we have to plug it in. Yep. Oh, another severed head. I guess awesome? <laughs> Question mark? Okay, can't run up that wall. Nor can we- Oh, we can do this one. My mistake. Okay, don't got anything for that. Okay, can we go up here? Hmm, that looks like it should be a wall, but... Is 
there another up floor? You know, I wonder if one of these walls on the elevator might be a way to actually climb up to. We got a hatch wheel. Alright. Now we have a fun little puzzle. <laughs> So I think we have to do this one first, because otherwise we just can't get the other ones at all. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> nice and easy too. Um, is there another floor? Okay, floor five. What does this one do? Okay, it just shuts and opens that door. Um, okay. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. Um, let's go ahead and do it like that. Is this how we have to do it? do it this one and then bring that back bring that over bring that one up put that like that then do that do that no now hang on Reverse that, let's put that one here. Then put that back, that back, that one back over here. Then do big boy over here. Then. No. Like that, like that. Bring this one over here. And then we can drop this one here, put the, this one in the middle. And there we go. Yay! We're back a lot smarter this time. <laughs> so we got another severed head. Um, what is over this way? We got some buttons on the floor. We got some goop. Uh, nothing in this world. So is there something up here? No? Well, whatever it is, the key is the first option. Oh, uh, so we have to use the... <coughs> we have to use the, like, goop walls to manage to actually push the right buttons. Okay, so that's where the answer is. So it's key first. And then I think it's an onk. I think that's what that symbol is. Um, and then after that's the eyeball. Yeah, the onk, eyeball. I don't remember what the next one was, but then the one up here I know is the last one. So it's the only other one that we haven't gone yet is that one. There's like a weird panel on the floor. I probably took like the long way around, but it's fine. Is it this one? Oh, we just don't have it yet. Ew. Okay, so we'll have to come back. Alright, that's fine. Is there gonna be a floor six? No, that is all we have. Is there a spot to put something here just so that we can check out our items? Oh, we can just do this. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and figure out where that wheel goes because I feel like that's the next step. I don't think it'd be this. Nope. There's that thing that I thought needed like a screw or something, but I think it might 
might have needed the wheel instead. If I can find that. Was it this area? Yeah, this. Yeah. Okay, so that's opening that. Um, so we got everything there. Ah, we got the skull emblem. And then I'm going to imagine that we actually have to uh, go back through here and then do another rotation maybe? So that we can go up there the other way? No? Hmm, there's like another wheel up there so thought maybe. Uh, so let's go back up to floor 5. I think it was this floor, yeah. So go ahead and put this into its slot and walk on it, huh? That was the right puzzle though. Huh. Maybe for some reason it just like reset. Okay, that should be it. Yay, we did it. Wonder if there's anything up here. Extension cord, okay. Um, so let's go ahead and do this and we can walk on down. Now I think that's for where the levers are. Anything else in here in this way? Nope. Okay. Alright, so now we just need to put this here. And what is this gonna do? Wait, do we need another extension cord? Hello? Hmm. Are we still missing something? Oh, wait. Or maybe not. Okay, that took a while. So maybe we have to raise this all the way up and then run this way. There's something down here. Ooh, that was very close, but yes, we were right. Uh, what is this? Oh, another extension cord. So yeah, we needed one. <laughs> um, so now can we... No, no, down. Yep, I think it's this floor. Now can we actually do this? Okay, so we can do that. And now we should be able to do this. Okay, there's some like... Numbers on the floor. Okay. And then we need to do three, four, six. One, four, six. Okay. That should be it. Awesome. <laughs> Just the quickness of going through that really got me. Okay, so then this should open up. Oh wait, do we still need to let go of it first? Yep. And then... Should be able to open this and then... Okay. That should have fallen down to the pressure plate. Yep. And now we can come in here where there's a guillotine? <gasps> Wait. Oh no, we're the last head. <laughs> oh no. Um. Well, we can still move around. <laughs> um. Okay, well. Guess we can just go ahead and, uh. You know. Ugh. 
Do we need our head still? No. Alright. <laughs> Seems like we're going back to our apartment. Oh, was that the end of the DLC? Really? That was short. Huh. Okay, so I guess just might as well let's go ahead and do the Crypt DLC. Wait, what's going on? I thought we were going to the next DLC. Wait, sorry, other DLC? All I can think of is this game only ever having one DLC, right? It has to be right. Because clearly on the screen here, it only shows the option for the tower DLC. There, there, there was never an option for any other one. <laughs> Okay, to be completely honest with you guys, I've already spent like over an hour recording the Crypt DLC for this game. But despite the fact that I spent so long trying to complete those puzzles, I just truly did not enjoy that experience at all. It's perhaps in, this might be a bit dramatic, but is quite possibly one of the worst things I have ever played. <laughs> and I truly do not want to subject you guys to just how horribly designed those puzzles were. Like they were, not only was it like a scale up from both the tower DLC and the main game in general, like the snake puzzle in the main game was kind of tricky, but it, it wasn't as bad. It was like it was like every single one of these puzzles were the snake. And I just did not enjoy it at all. I even went through tried going through like a walkthrough on some of them just to try to move me move myself along. However, that didn't even help. Like and I even looked at the ending, it wasn't a whole lot exciting. It was basically just like a clock moving around. And there was like a coffin inside of the apartment from the main game. So, nothing too exciting. Sorry to cut this off without do uh, showing you guys it, but honestly, I, I don't think you guys would have enjoyed me playing it. So, with that said, if you liked the video, drop a like, maybe subscribe to stick around, and until next time, see ya!